What's up, everyone? I'm your host, Dan the Human. With me, as always, my lovely co host, Evie the Deer. Welcome to another special off the grid episode of Think About It, where I disclose revelations I wasn't able to have until physically leaving society for eight years, not speaking or seeing another human being the entire time. No internet, no phones, no TV. And these are some of the revelations I had when I was finally cut off from society and didn't have their influencing and brainwashing anymore. Um, so let's get right into it. Today on Think About It, we're talking about conserving electricity. We never thought about it when people told us to turn off the lights in the other room. So let's think about it. Think about it. So conserving electricity. Okay, so, so that's a thing, right? Um, they tell us, turn the light off when you're not in the room. Don't leave the TV on when you're not watching it. Uh, don't leave your, your game console on when it's not in use. We need to help the planet. So being a good sheeple, I always, before I left society, I always make sure that I turn the light switch off when I left the room, turn the TV off when I wasn't watching it, uh, turn the fans off when not in use, because I want to do my part and conserve electricity. And I believed them. I believed them. I fell for it because I wasn't thinking for myself, not not believing everything everybody told me. I wasn't questioning everything. But then I left society and I started questioning everything. So let's question it. Where the heck does electricity go if you don't conserve it? If you don't turn off the light switch, where the heck does electricity go? How are you wasting electricity? For, all, for you that don't know, electricity isn't something that you actually use. I have, I have another episode on what, how electricity works. Yeah, you never really buy electricity, you kind of just rent it. The way electricity works is they're not giving it to you. They're just letting you use it and you're giving it right back to them for free. So you have two lines coming in your house from the pole. One is an incoming, one is an outgoing, and they kind of switch sometimes, but that's it. In, out, in return. It's like a chain that's always rotating on your bike. And as it comes in, it rotates motors in your appliances. So it goes around and rotates its motors and then goes back out. Okay, so now if your light switch is off, uh, that motor's not turning or that light isn't burning. It's not using electricity. But what happens if I leave my light switch on or my fan on or my TV on? How am I wasting electricity? That electricity is going through my house, going right back to the electrical power plant or actually it's probably going to my neighbor and his neighbor and so on and so forth. And let's say it's lost, which in a way it kind of is. What does that matter? There's new, there's more electricity coming from the power plant. The only thing I'm losing is my money. I have to pay for more electricity. So when they say conserve electricity, it's not necessarily because there's a shortage of electricity. It's because your parents didn't want to pay more on the electrical bill, which is fine too. That's, that's a good uh, reason to conserve electricity. That's not why I thought we were conserving electricity. I was led to believe something completely different. And when I had this realization, my mind was blown. You don't have to conserve electricity. You got all the money you want, go ahead and uh, pay for more electricity. So yeah, think about it. Again, as always, do not believe anything you're told, question everything and think for yourself. Hit the subscription and like buttons below if you like what we're doing. If you want to see more, give us a thumbs up and help us stop presenting enslavement. Think about it.